The first busted item combo is the hard light afterburner and purity. So this is what it looks like just with the hard light afterburner and it's not great. You can stay in the air for a little while and even if you try spacing out your uses, you're still not going to stay in the air forever. But once you pick up a purity, you can stay in the air indefinitely. And this is super useful for the final stage as you can skip straight to Mythrix as well as you can stay in the air during the entirety of the fight. Keep in mind this only works on Commando with the tactical slide, so it's a bit of a case use scenario, but it's still a great item combo. Next up is what I like to call the multi double rebar cheese. This is by no means a new technique or anything. It's just a way to restore it to its former glory and you can do that with a soldier's syringe or uh, you can also use a war banner and it brings it back. And one last thing is you can use a gnarled wood sprite war horn in a gesture which I'll show in the next item combo. This next item combo is going to require a little bit of divine intervention from RNG Jesus but if you are lucky enough to get a war horn, a gnarled wood sprite and a gesture of the drown then you can have a plus 70% increase in attack speed on any survivor and this works so well because the gnarled wood sprite's 15 second cooldown gets halved to 8 seconds and the Warhorn has, you guessed it, an 8 second uptime, so it leads to a perma uptime of the Warhorn, giving you increased attack speed forever for the rest of your run, and this can be very, very strong early game. Alright, this next item combo is called the Planula of These Nuts, and uh, it kind of speaks for itself. All you need is a Hellfire Tincture and a Planula to pull this off, but it can get real freaking deaky if you get some extra items. Um, and the next clip will show you what it looks like when you get Razor Wire, Reju Rack, Aegis on top of it, and you become an absolute beast. Uh, as you can see, the Razor Wires automatically proc off the Hellfire Tincture, so Everything doesn't even have to get in your range before you can kill it. And then with the Aegis, um, you get just infinite barriers as well as keeping your health up the whole time. And this item combo works on any survivor. It's broken, but I think it works the best on the Lunar Heretic because of the health degen. It completely negates it once you have the Hellfire Tincture popped and you get your barrier. All right, explanation time for all you gamers out there. So the Planula gives you a flat healing of 15 HP for every damage you take. So the Hellfire Tincture damages you 5% uh, of your max HP per second. So every second you should be getting 15 HP back, thus resulting in the excessive healing. But if you do level up and uh, gain over that threshold, then you can just grab a couple of uh, repulsion armor plates and that should negate the damage as well as uh, some survivors have natural armor bonuses that will make them take less damage from the hellfire tincture all right now it's riskarine over explanation time so because we have the rejuve rack and the aegis in this clip you can see that i get the barrier every time i'm taking damage from the hellfire as well as i get 30 um, hp instead of that flat 15 HP bonus and then I also have the razor wires that are just procking uh, as I go because I'm always constantly taking damage as well as I have the I think 11 gestures which will give me a perma uptime but you only actually need five gestures or nine fuel cells to have a perma uptime on the hellfire but as you can see this can absolutely cascade a god run but like i said before you have to keep in mind that as your hp increases the damage of the hellfire will also increase so you need to negate that with extra repulsion armor plates this next one's a bit of a survivor wombo combo but if you become the lunar heretic on the captain then you actually get to keep his defensive microbots which is just a very strong red item and if you're going to become the lunar heretic might as well get a free red item Quick note as well, you can easily negate the health degen on this Nomu look of fool by picking up a transcendence. Alright, this next one's for the engineer aka the bungo man. If you use his default turrets and some bustling fungus, you can just get some really good healing and keep them alive. Alright, this last one's stretching a little bit, but a couple of med kits and fall damage or hopus can be an easy way to quickly heal, and I just found this useful for farming a couple of blood shrines at the end of a stage before I left. Before the video ends, I stream at rhombus underscore 20 on Twitch, so check me out. Peace!